What's up, guys? My name is Junk Lainez, and we are drawing every single day. You know, um, when I owned a tattoo shop, I used to get asked to be a mentor all the time. I had a lot of people come to me in search for a tattoo apprenticeship. And one of the things that um, made me reject so many people was the amount that they drew. Because I don't think a lot of people have the proper idea of what it takes to be um, a professional artist or the type of dedication that you got to have. So, um, you know, one of the most common things that I used to receive when when they come to me and, you know, hey, you know, I'd like, you know, a tattoo apprenticeship or whatever. First of all, we're not going to get into the specifics of the needs to be a tattoo apprentice and all of that. But we're just talking about drawing today. So um, I would always ask, so what kind of work do you do? You know, what kind of uh, portfolio do you have? And let me see your sketchbook. And I always get the same answer, which is kind of ridiculous to me. They would always give me this old flimsy sketchbook and go, oh yeah, you know, uh, you know, this is just some old stuff, you know, or I would get like the typical, oh, I just bought this sketchbook. So there's only like two things in it that I did like four months ago. And that's the wrong answer to give me, you know, because I want to know if you're going to be a dedicated artist or if you're going to be a dedicated, especially in the tattoo world, you want to be on top of your game. Um, there's no room for uh, slacking per se. So what I would always say is, okay, I want to see, I don't want to see what you guys did four months ago or this old sketchbook. You know, you want to show your A game. You, I don't want to see your level four years ago. I want to see your level on what you were working on today. And oddly enough, a lot of artists couldn't answer that because they didn't draw daily. They didn't do things like that. And that's what something that I think separated me from everybody else. And you know, um, when I would break it down to these artists, I would tell them, I go, are you ready to really make this um, your career? Are you ready to make a living off of this? Because imagine if you do, let's say one tattoo or one, you know, sketch or something a day, you still got to do 365 a year and that's nothing, you know? And when I say that, uh, people kind of bug out as if that's not normal. You know, uh, I always tell everyone that I personally try to do five creative things a day, whether it be a full blown drawing, when I tattoo, a sketch, work on a painting, some graffiti, whatever it may be. I try to do five a day. Now I know that's a lot for most people, but I've adapted to it because I used to draw a lot of flash and I doodle a lot. So it's gotten to the point where um, even in my previous videos, I got a couple of DMs that were asking me if I had any stencils or any, um, if I was tracing anything. If you notice, those videos are all straight off the head. They're straight Sharpie to paper and that's it. You don't have to do that, but I've just kind of trained myself to do that. So anyways, I'm losing track of myself. Let me get back onto the point. Um, point is, uh, you know, the whole, I take life as a game of numbers. And if I try to create, let's say five things a day, every day, even on vacation, on weekends, whatever, I always have a sketchbook on me or I do it when I wake up or I do it right before I go to bed. But point is I try to create five things daily. That's equivalent to 1,825 drawings a year. Sometimes I think I create more. I could confidently say that I think I probably produce about 2,000 creative things a year. That's a lot of work. And when I look at the artists that I look up to, they have more work than I do. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of dedication. That's the type of work that it takes to become a professional artist. You know, whether you're in the design world, tattoo world, fashion, whatever, the more creative you are, the better you're going to be. You know, 
that's actually one of the things that I really admired about the artistic field that there is when, when you see a really um, exceptional artist or an artist in a good position there is no kissing ass to the boss there is no um, moving up the corporate ladder if you will there is none of that it's either you paid your dues by drawing your ass off to make you that good or you just don't it's as simple as that so much respect to you know everybody out there that's you know consistently creating and being a beast at it so anyways that's what i used to tell the people that would come in to uh, get apprenticeships with me and if you ever got rejected now you know why i'm gonna post one drawing daily for as long as this page is around however i do want to ask you guys to do the same tag draw daily on any post on any drawing that you want to share and i'll add it on to my story let's uh start sharing all these drawings let's build a stronger art community and let's see how much we can draw this is junk Linez for draw daily peace